Welcome everyone! So it's time for my July favourites video. So here I'm going to share with you some of the things I've been loving this past month of July. So how about we just get stuck into it. So how about we start with the beauty favourites because let's be honest that's the most exciting for me anyway. So my first one here is this Hocus Focus Instant Visual Floor Softening Illuminator by Soap and Glory. And there's a little bit of a story to go with this, I guess. I actually got this nearly a year ago when I was over in England. And um, I was just going a bit nuts. If you ever, if you live over in England or the UK or you've been over there or you watch any of the, um, like the British YouTubers and things on YouTube, um, you'll know that one of their big drugstores is Boots and they have all sorts of makeup and over there Soap and Glory is like a drugstore brand. It's amazing because over here in Melbourne it, you can kind of only get it in very specific places and it's not the most convenient um, brand to find but over there it was just like everywhere. And so I picked this up because I thought this sounded really amazing, like a nice soft illuminator, get rid of like imperfections and blurs and floor softening and I was like, yeah, that's what I want. Um, I picked it up and the first time I tried it, I used it like you'd use kind of any cream illuminator like over the top of my foundation and blush etc. And I hated it. I could not stand it because because it's quite a runny texture so if you can see you can probably see there it's quite you can even see it dripping a little so it's quite runny and um yeah for some reason when you put this kind of over the top of foundations at least with my foundations it almost kind of mixed with it and then made it come off and blotchy and I was like no nah, no way I just I just can't even deal with this so I it's just sitting in my drawer. I have not picked it up for about a year. And then this month, I just sort of decided, you know what, maybe I was using it wrong. It just kind of clicked. And so I started actually mixing it in with my foundations. And oh, that's how you want to use it. That's definitely how you want to use it. So for me, I've got quite sort of dry, dehydrated skin. So I really like to stay away from matte foundations and things like that. So by mixing this in, I do have a couple of foundations that are a little bit more matte than I like. So by mixing like just a blob of this in with your foundation, just applying it like usual, it just adds that kind of natural glow and makes you just look that little bit healthier and glowy and like, oh, youthful radiance kind of thing. And yeah, so I've been absolutely loving that this month. This next thing is also to do with kind of complexion. Um, makeup and I'll be honest I am so late so late on the bandwagon with this one and it is the Professional Primer by Benefit and I know Rachel where have you been for the last year or whatever it is that everyone on YouTube has been raving about this stuff but I guess just primers and I, we just haven't had a good relationship, it's been on and off turbulent relationship by, I've just never really gotten into them, I always find that they're like kind of too slippery and silicony and then it makes my foundations kind of streak and slide weird and I don't know, it's just never worked for me until uh, this baby came along. So this is a very different texture to the ones I've tried in the past. It's more, um, it's less kind of, it is very silky, but it's less slippery, if that makes sense. It, not, it doesn't seem as silicony, and it kind of feels like it actually grips your foundation rather than just smoothing everything out and then leaving a really slippery surface for it to go over. And I find that using this, my foundation just looks so much smoother, my pores are just gone, and it really does seem to last longer, at least the even finish of it lasts a lot longer. So now I just, I don't even, like, I don't even consider putting foundation on without putting this on first anymore. It's been absolutely life changing. Yeah. I guess we'll stick with the um, skin theme-ish for now. 
So the next one here is a night cream and I have used the Olay moisturizing creams and lotions since I was a teenager and I love them. Olay is a, in my opinion, really fantastic drugstore brand. But I guess this month I branched out a little bit and I have been loving what I have found. And this is the Rosehip Moisture Moisture Restorative Night Cream by the brand Asano. And yeah, I've been really loving this. So the reason I got this, I actually it's it is quite a small tub, but I got it in like a little sort of sample pack and as soon as I saw it I was like oh, I have to try that because I love anything with rose hip in it. You put rose hip in it and I'm just like, yeah, that's for me. Give me that, give me that. And yeah, so when I saw this little sample pack of all these rose hip night creams, moisturizers, cleansers, I was like, mm, I need it. I need it bad. So I bought it, yeah, as you do. And so far I've only used the night cream because I'm still using up my other moisturizers and things first. But this has been lovely. It goes on your skin and it sort of feels a bit odd at first. It sort of, it sinks in really fast and has this sort of, I don't even know how to describe it, a slightly grippy texture which sounds weird for a moisturizer. But after using this, I actually woke up the next morning and I looked in the mirror and I was like, damn, I like what I see. Like, my skin just had this sort of evenness to it and just seemed that little bit more toned and yeah, so definitely recommend that. And the good thing about this brand is it's made with like no parabens, no sulfates, all that jazz and using 100% organic rosehip oil plus it's got a whole lot of other goodies in it like organic aloe vera, jojoba oil, shea butter and just very nice, very nice moisturizer. So if you're looking for a new night cream, I would definitely check this one out. Let's move on to our eyes. And I have one eye product that I have been loving this month and that is the Max Factor Color Expert Waterproof Eyeliner in... What is this color? Oh, there we go. In Metallic Anthracite number two. And this is a um, liquid eyeliner. It's what I've got on today. And as you can see, it's it's one of those ones that's got like the dippy pot and then like a little felt tip brush, which I usually don't like as much, but I've been quite enjoying this one. And the reason I love this is well, one for the color, because it's not really your typical black. It's more of a really charcoal-y gray with just all really tiny little flecks of shimmer giving it I guess that metallic look and I think it's a really nice sort of eyeliner if you want something a little bit different from your average black black liner just adds that little bit of interest to your eyes I think but the other reason I love this is because when I um tested this in the store I as you do did a little swatch on my hand and I was testing a few different liners and I was wandering around the store and for a little while like wanting it to set seeing how like long it lasts etc etc and then I actually um I was rubbing my hand with um what you call it hand sanitizer and so because that's got alcohol in it it usually will like wipe off any makeup you've got on your hands and things like that because that's going to really dissolve it all away and so I did that just kind of unconsciously and I noticed that all the other eyeliners just disappeared off my hand except this one. This one was still in place. It had not budged at all and I was like whoa. Yeah I was just amazed. I was like mm, yeah I need it. I need it now. Now I said that really weird. No. No. I'm gonna stop. So yeah that is why I bought it and I have Worn this a couple of times um, while sleeping. One was a nap in the afternoon, because don't we all love naps? But um, the other one was actually overnight, which yes, I know, bad Rachel, you should not sleep overnight in your makeup, but I did, I was really tired. And I woke up the next morning and it was still perfect. I could have gone out with it. 
I would have been happy being seen in public with that eyeliner that I had just slept in. It was that good. So if you're looking for a really good budge proof, waterproof liquid eyeliner, I would definitely check out this Max Factor one. And of course they do have their blacks and some other nice colours as well, so check it out. Mm. Okay, now let's go for some cheeks. And this is the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Charisma. And unfortunately you can't really get Tarte here in Australia, I don't know, you might be able to buy it online somewhere, but I actually got my mum to buy this for me when she was over in Malaysia last time. And I just seen pictures online, and um, so that's it there. And online it actually looked quite matte, and I thought the colour would be gorgeous, but um, when I actually got it and opened it in person, I was like, oh... That's a lot more shiny and shimmery than I thought it would be because, I don't know, you probably can't see from the camera, but it does have um, quite noticeable flecks of glitter in it, in the pan. Um, so it's been a little... Oh, still got... That in there. Nah. Um, so it's been a little while since I'd really been that game to use it because I'm not a huge fan of like glitter on your cheeks and things like that. But I did give it a shot and actually the glitter doesn't come off glitter on your cheeks it actually comes off as quite a nice shine highlighty sort of finish and I've got it on today I don't know if you can really tell but yeah I was quite surprised at that and pleasantly surprised and the color is just so nice it comes off really nice natural rosy flush and that is really just lovely for an everyday kind of blush so if you can, I would definitely check that one out, and it is really long-lasting. I haven't really experimented to see if it is a 12-hour finish, but it definitely does last quite a while. This next one is kind of kind of a two-in-one favourite, I guess. I don't know, is that kind of cheating? Maybe it is, but shh, don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, and that is this Body Shop Body Butter. So... One is the body butter itself. I haven't used that many body shop body butters, even though people rave about them all the time. But I can now see why, especially since it's been winter here and my skin has been really dry. It's been so nice. They're so creamy and luxurious. Mm. So I'm just moisturizing myself here. Just on camera, a little live action moisturization. Um, yeah, and they're just so creamy and nice. and just really soften your skin for they say they're a 24 hour body butter and I believe it it re your skin really feels conditioned and moisturizes for like the day after and so if you are someone that likes body butters to sink in really quickly no fuss whatever then this probably isn't the one for you you do need to work it in a bit but the rewards are there once you put in the effort let's say my second favorite thing about this is the scent. This is the Brazil nut scent and oh my god. Oh. It smells like like I want to eat the, the first time I tried this in store I put it on and I was in my car like an hour later and I could smell something I was like something smells so delicious I want to eat it where is it like let me add it and then I realized it was me and it was this body butter I was like oh my god I smell amazing it smells like breakfast which sounds weird but it smells like a really fancy oatmeal <laughs> if that's probably not making it sound any better that's probably not that enticing but it's like it smells like oatmeal or porridge mixed with like hazelnuts and like cinnamon and nutmeg and I don't know what but oh it's just so good and yeah it's just so good mm. and actually it's so good that I also purchased the body mist of it that's how much I love this scent so yeah you know I love something when I'm like layering layering as many products on as possible of it. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, yeah. 
My next favourite is a music slash human slash YouTuber favourite. I guess it's like another sort of all-in-one person favourite. But that is Jasmine Thompson. I don't know if any of you guys have seen her YouTube videos um, or heard any of her music, but she does a lot of covers of different songs and her voice is just... Oh, it's I love her voice. I love her accent. I love the tone of her voice. It just I could just listen to it all day. And she does some really beautiful covers of some good songs like... Um, I really like her cover of Rather Be, that's a nice one, and I See Fire, that's also a good one. So I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box down below, and if you want to go check it out, just click there. That is all for today for my July favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have tried any of the products that I mentioned here, please let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought about it, whether you liked it as much as I did or maybe you didn't. Or if you've got any favourites you just want to share, then please do. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, just subscribe to my channel. So that's all and have fun. See you later. This is my June favourites video. Um, this is also my best ever favourites video, yay! Which is really exciting because I'm so excited to share with you some of the things I have been